Hey guys, and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I am the dude. We're about to play our Kenya playthrough of Conflict of Nations, day 25. Alright. We sent our bombs in, guys. And it's still alive. That's not good. Oh dear. But I built a ship. We've got two ships here. Maybe we could... I don't know how many is there, though. No, let's not do that. We'll draw attention to the fact that we have capabilities around here. Build me another one. Just keep building them. Excellent. So we've got, we're building some more striker jets and boats. However, this boat isn't going to get made. We're going to be building this one here. I need to increase our resources as well because this is, we've lost Djibouti, really, and that's just going to hurt our components quite quite badly. So is there another city we have which Lombashi is not mine? <laughs> this one is. Can we pop an arms industry down just to help improve that a little bit? It's not going to improve it a lot because it's not annexed. Now you guys did tell me about that and I know but at the moment I'll take any little bonus just to get us a bit more in overnight. Uh, we have troops taking back these lands here. I was sending my strikers down here and they were just they've been wrecked i had so many strikers now we've got one i assume they've got aa or the, all the frigates in the world down there and this is not ideal it's like we have lost one bomber here as well I'm not pleased but hey we we've done well to this point we've scared them from attacking mainland at the moment so we're gonna have to just keep holding hopefully we've got who's this congo have sent a lot of troops over to us and defenses and stuff you can see i've got more troops coming down from where we were taking land from uh, france but they're doing a real number on france right now so that's looking great i have to say very happy with what they're doing however they, they're reconning stuff, but they're not attacking. It would be really great if they if they did. <laughs> you know, they've got some bombers here. That This ship is here. If I retake that, that's just in range. It's going to mess me up. I don't want to lose any troops. We've got to keep an eye on all our land if we can. So we're still just playing for time at the moment. As soon as we can get some more bombers, we're going to keep... that noise is but can you just keep bombing this one we'll see if this actually works if we can kill it that will give us hope for the future we might have to rebuild a load of bombers but that's a price i'm willing to pay i don't know what's here i was going to send that over let's not do that in case of right i do need to retake this though just got to work out what's going on and which way round we go we got a boat right there if I go this way we're going to get shot at we go this way it takes a while nightmare right okay well we're just gonna to have to keep fighting for our land definitely gonna need those those strikers we need to get more stacks of strikers sorted out as soon as possible just in case anything decides to try and land and hopefully they send us over some more stuff so um, we can defend a bit better we need those boats and Libya are not sending any boats because they had they had more boats but oh now they do not I see where are you going that's because all their boats are over here. Spain is over here. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, that's epic. I'm glad they're doing that. Can't moan. Aha! Where do you get all your resources from? Nightmare. I want some stuff. I want some stuff. Hmm. But we gotta wait. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here. Oh, I'm gonna keep clicking on stuff. I'll leave it here and we'll be back for day 26. 
Hello everyone and welcome to day 26 of Kenya playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Alright. Alrighty. These guys are about to go in there and wreck havoc. I did send my bombers and this jet up this way just to um, explore on there. Because we, we're losing things to their boats all the time. It's doing my nothing. So uh, we've got to We've got to do something. As you can see, we've taken back the city here. I'm actually going to move three of these infantry away. I don't want them just to start bombarding again and then we have more problems. So, um, yeah. We've got extra troops coming down. Oh, man. It's going to be close. Go and rush. So, they need to get down there to help defend against the rogue state because it's just one after another. These guys can move back a little bit away from the edge because we don't want to lose any more troops if we don't have to so if we look on here just loads of rogue state stuff right okay what troops can we buy we're currently still getting the three jets one infantry and two boats but this boat isn't going to happen unless we repair that And then we might be able to build it all sneaky like. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'd like to build it. Uh, we could annex. No, we can't. A bit poor on the old components. Um, right. I wouldn't know where, where to do anything else anyway at the moment. We could go Haggadah. That might be a good place to go. So if we can start building up the um, harbours there, that might be a good thing. We could even build up the harbour here, although that's probably going to rebel. We'll lose it anyway. Man. Alright. Well, we'll see what happens. I need to make loads more troops just to try and hold the the shoreline really but we've I think we scared them off they were still attacking boats and stuff while I wasn't watching the game and we lost all our jets so we are rebuilding our jet army we've got those navy bombers here so uh, all in time if we can get enough boats here as well we're going to start be pumping out um, destroyers I'll put one on build tonight so that'll be done within a day or so then hopefully we can push back a little bit not a lot, but maybe a little bit. I mean, look at these frigates. Three frigates sitting there. Destroyers would be very nice. I can go and blitz them. And get rid of them. They can go somewhere else while we're busy. Uh, looking at our allies, though, they're doing an absolutely fantastic job on Europe at the moment. Look how many helicopters this This guy works the helicopters pretty good, doesn't he? I like it. They're smashing it. Beautiful. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here and we'll be back for day 27. Hey all, welcome to day 27 of our Kenya playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Oh yeah. Right, as you can see our coastline is looking alright. What happened to my planes? Oh, did they die? Oh, I think they might have died. Right, let's have a look. We've got another corvette done in Jazan. Squadron is lost. Yes, we don't know how many ships are actually here, but we've been bombing them all day. We've finally lost our stuff. Right. Can we get a destroyer? Perfect. That's a thing of beauty. Now, get me some more jets. Nope, can't. We're currently building one bomber plane for the navy recon infantry jet and a corvette which will never happen because they're currently watching us well they're not bombarding us now let's get things going again why not cool well I'll bring those corvettes around once we've got the destroyer with us might cone clear this up straight away 
then we'll wait for the bombers and we'll do this. Because this is a mighty adversary. It's three destroyers on one cruiser. And it's like, <laughs> I'm a bit stuffed here, you know? Let's have a look, see if we can get any upgrades for our destroyers. Let's make sure we send around some good stuff. Nope, we can do the corvettes though. Get that going. That'll be handy. Right. Is there anything we can make to make our lives a little bit better? Like industry. So, to be honest, no. We are short of rare materials. Not cool. I'll buy those. And then we'll invest that into rare materials. Upgrades. Just get them all. Can I afford them? No, no more. Right, cool. That'll help a little bit. Lovely jubbly. Well, let's bring these troops down. Because we know if there's going to be an attack, it's probably going to be this end, where all their boaties are. And yeah, as soon as we've got this in a day. We'll send the boats around to go do something, guys. Hopefully I can build a few more bombers by then as well. Not sure why these guys are still not got involved. They're just scouting. These gotta go. These have gotta go. We know New, um, New Zealand are out there as well. Our spies are still causing devastation over there. But I could really do more. It's just I don't want to spend all our cash on it per day. We're going to need that for more bits and pieces around the home. Oh, nightmare. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave that one here. And we'll be back for day 28. See you on the next one. Hey, all. Welcome to day 29 of our Kenya playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Now, I do apologize for missing out day 28. However... Not much has really happened. Uh, we're still holding the same areas, bombing the same boats. Now, as you can see, we have ships coming in now. So this is going to get exciting. We've got four corvettes, level four. One destroyer, level five, three, sorry. Five would be good. And we have a naval contact here. So I'm hoping that we can get closer in an hour and 14 minutes. Enough to bomb this one, because we know this one is probably going to be quite the challenge. Now, we also have a flight wing. So, unprovoked, yeah, but they're hovering around my shores, so who knows who it is? We don't know. I'm sure it's probably going to be New Zealand. Japan have backed off and asked for peace for peace because they've left the um, coalition that Indonesia are in. So that's quite handy for us. We're not going to have any Japanese ships here. Congo's still got his troops around here, but not declared war, so it's very weird. But hey, it's helping me out quite a lot having this here, so um, can't really knock it too much. Right. What can we do? We've got loads of supplies. Loads. We building boats, yeah? Got another Corvette coming out here. I don't really have... If I could get loads of components, that would have been good. I'll annex a few cities and start building some extra boats. But we're a bit stuck for that at the moment. I could pop a boat out here by the look of it. But should we try? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. Can't do that one. That's level one. And Maputo is all the way down here. I can't. I didn't annex any of these, did I? As one. Uh, we can do infantry in as one, so we just keep the infantry coming from there. Yum, 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 yum. And yeah, we've got a corvette going hell. Chazan. Awesome. Technology, I don't think we've got enough rare materials to really do anything of importance at the moment. But we just need to deal with these Indonesians because they are just all over us. It is terrible. Although we've managed to defend our shores very well, I'm very happy with how it's gone it could have gone better as well and i'm just fed up with being bombarded we need to grow and this is stunting our growth so um dealing with them 
in the hour and a half, say, we're going to be in fighting with these. These guys are going to be involved in 26 minutes. So I'm going to have a look at that. I'll keep on top of it. Hopefully we can get rid of whoever this is. We can battle these and get rid of those. And then we're going to be moving down and taking these out. And then we'll hopefully be safe for a little while. And we might even push back. But we'll have to see what we can do with that. Because I need to get more components in. Like massively. I think the next few days we should probably focus on the resources. I'm sure we can get some components going. We can definitely industrialize that area there. Djibouti. I'd like to annex some more stuff. Mombasa is one. We are upgrading that. But it's been bombarded for so long. The population is probably quite small. Craziness. But we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one. And we'll be back for day 30. We'll see you on the next one guys. Hello everyone and welcome to day 30 of our Kenya playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Look at this. That's why I just <laughs> I get too excited while seeing this. Um, have we actually destroyed it? The planes have smushed it. Oh my days. We have killed them all or they've run away. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's a oh. I got a whole bunch over here. Right, let's go. Here we go. All the boaties. Oh, really? And we're going to ferry our naval bombers down here. Who's took this? That's Rogue State. Awesome. I'm surprised we actually got this boat made in Mombasa. Let's see what we can do with some more boats. Let's get a Corvette from here. Jazan should be making a destroyer. Um, need, need more resources there. Gonna upgrade this place. This is a homeland territory, so we make sure we're good there. Let's move some troops in. We have retaken the land. Let's go enforce that law. Right. We are building a booty. I need bombers and booties. Can't afford any more of those. Can't get any boats from here. Can't afford troops. I'll tell you what we do need. We've got the research for SAMs. So I need to upgrade as many barracks as we can up to level 3. Which is 750 components. We're so short on components. But what I'll do in between now and tomorrow's episode is I'll try and get as many of them upgraded as we can so we can bust out some SAMs and get them in the cities so we can stop bombings and planes causing us hell. Wow, I'm so happy that that stack of five boats has gone, cruisers and destroyers. That is epic. And we're going to get in range of this one. How long is it going to take? Four and a half hours. We'll be in range. And then we will... Actually, I could... Should we just go for it? I mean, everyone... Get in range of that thing and just fight and kill it. Simples. And then later on, I'll get... I've only got to move the planes. No, they shall bomb it. And then as soon as this is dealt with, guys, we're going to go and deliver some hurt upon all those that have kept us in this pocket for so long. What a nightmare. Right. What can we upgrade? Can we get any more resources in? Totally need more resources. Components would be great. Oosh. There we go. Left me one component. But that'll do. It's going to bump us up a little bit going forward. Now, looking at our allies, they are sending boats around, you know, so they might even help us with this one. They've got a, an admiral as well, or naval officer, shall I say. So that's looking real cool. They're doing really good. A good player, this one. Um, let's have a look. What are, we, what are we looking at? J2022J. 
seems like a good player let's have a look at their profile rank 60 so yes they definitely know what they're doing <laughs> nice happy to have them on our team Libya is also a very good player so um let's see about Libya and give them some shout out user 13851617 what's your rank 10 crazy but a good player so um very good very good they are smashing up europe quite nicely at the moment uh, i can see that libya is definitely the aggressor and congo is the uh experienced slow progress player but it's um it's awesome to have them with us now we need to hold up our end of the alliance so uh, we'll do that but i'm gonna leave that one here guys and we'll be back for day 31 thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content and i will see you on the next one Take care all, the dude is out.